Hello and welcome to Sea Open at Phoenix. Uh, we are doing some truck racing, and this time, unlike the B race, I did not accept a setup from a stranger, but rather a community member of uh, Gavin's and Nick, Nick, yeah, Nick's as well, of course. It's because uh, it's uh, Daniel. Daniel uh, is it Shell or Snow? Sorry, but uh, <laughs> uh, he shared a version, from what I understand, it's a version Green. of one of his sets. It's a little Black bit guy. looser, apparently, and uh, he shared it in Gavin's Discord channel. And uh, I did a race. They had a free Maconi set released earlier this week. Um... I guess just as a promotional thing, and I ran it, and I wasn't too fond of it. it wasn't really a good fit for me, I don't think. It was a little tight. Um, I was able to run okay with it, but I mean, just look at that. I'm, I'm over a tenth faster than my best right there, and I, I don't even think that was my best ever. Like, I feel like I'm leaving speed on the table. The set is so good. I know why, uh, I know what all the rage is about now. Never Nick and Gavin say good things about his sets like that's so good so good so very appreciative of uh for him to uh make that available to community members and uh, excited to give this race a try so we're p3 right now uh, but we're right up there 26 8 26 9 and uh i i just barely got any practice with this new set in I did about like 10 minutes of practice at that, and I'm just like consistently on that first lap knocking out like a tenth on my all-time best. So I know I can bring it down more probably when I learn how I can push it, but uh, during the race here, I'm obviously not going to push it quite as hard. And I give it uh, long term, but it's like the set is stable while being, uh, while getting rotation. But not too much it's like it's it's good it's good he knows what he's doing so that's very cool I just go on and on about it but, uh, I'll temper myself and uh, just talk about uh, how my I guess I'll talk about how my last race went uh, last race with the the free uh, Maconi setup shop I think it's Maconi right apparently I don't remember anyone's names or anything but uh, I ran that yeah and uh, I can kind of tell, you know, it was like decent setup, but I just don't think it fit my driving style too much. I think I was overdriving it maybe. And I just, I really prefer looser sets and it felt like, uh, like extra like tight on entry and stuff. Maybe like they were trying to uh, make it more accessible <laughs> to people or something. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, it was okay. Um, it was good enough to bring me a third place finish in the last race. Uh, just like this one though, it, it wasn't a huge strength of field. I think I was like the four car maybe. Maybe it was the three car again last race. But I didn't record it because it was late at night. And uh, honestly, I was pretty tired. <laughs> I just didn't want to, uh, I didn't feel the energy to record. And this was like uh, on Monday or something like that. This was a while ago. So um, I did get a new paint on my truck because it's the new Toyota Tundra. Uh, it's just a one I found on Trading Paints. Um, not too many options yet out there and I don't know how to make my own paints though I want to look into it. Um, a Venmo. Just a nice light blue kind of paint on there. Uh, probably temporary. But I think it looks nice. Um, I will avoid showing the setup even though he made it publicly available kind of. I don't know. I don't know how to handle that stuff. I know people try to keep their stuff under wraps for the most part, but actually I have my frames limited to 60 because the frames were kind of going bad. Um, at one yeah, point. so it's a decent like race trim laptop. That's the end of the but, session. Uh, I think maybe I can up it a little bit. 
That's another thing, too. I didn't even add, like, full tape. That's was just race tape and stuff. And I got my 26.9 with little effort. That's something, too. We'll be ready to run session last lap and keep an eye on that. wonder how you pronounce this name. Aifvehran Barta. Something tells me that didn't come through properly. <laughs> They've got like two accented A's and then a, that's like not even a normal F. That looks like the logo for Flash, Adobe Flash, with the F. <laughs> Interesting. But uh, it's an early morning race right now. Let me check the time. It is... A 6.40 or a, yeah, 6.45 registration time. It looks like we'll be getting green about 7 a.m. So, early morning, I believe it might be single split. I think so. If not single split, then it only split once. But I think it's single split. So we might have a couple cautions just from guys self-spinning and stuff. And I have to be wary of the lap cars. Uh, I'm just going to have to know ahead of time that these guys are trying their best. And uh, got to expect the unexpected. <laughs> Except I am expecting it, so that doesn't make sense. There are three. Expect the expected. I'm happy. And have a good run. See that? Some paints loading in because everyone's got new paints. This is the new update, I guess. A couple people got the uh, default still, I think. That guy's paint's still trying to load in. I don't really have the problem that Nick has that he tries to avoid so much, um, where it, like, it drops frames really bad when paints are trying to load in. Everything seems to load in just fine uh, for me. I mean, it might take a little minute, but it's it doesn't really cause too much of a problem during the race, so... Hopefully that guy's pure white paint scheme comes in here before too long. About to go green. Stay focused. I'm supposed to be focusing on the track anyway. We'll see if this guy takes advantage okay, of the uh, weird pedantry here and get, goes really early, or if uh, he'll go where you kind of su su quote unquote supposed to. He certainly is not keeping pace speed though. He's kind of dropped a couple miles per hour. And he goes, just a wee bitter. I didn't even realize it was in first gear. That might have been bad. Humongous jump from behind us, looks like. Not sure guys are ready for that. Man set Oh! You're in the middle. Three wide. Not prepared for that. <laughs> oh my god, I was looking to my right, and all of a sudden there was a truck swerving in front of me. Okay, I'm gonna survive that, gave me some damage on the first lap. Uh, what was I saying before I pooped myself a little? Um, oh yeah, this set's really good. It feels so good. <laughs> Even on cold tires, um, it's manageable. But I swear I could go on all 90 laps about how much I love this set. I get so let me stop. Fortunate for that one, I wonder if that damage is going to affect him for the rest of the race. The leader has just done a 37.2, that was a 37.2. The guy behind has just Gavin's race was great, I just watched it, it just came out uh, overnight, and uh, I watched it this morning, and it got me the, it gave me the itch to do this race, in fact. It was a very, very good race, they had one caution at the near start, and it was just for a guy that stopped on, uh, on the apron. And uh, it was green the whole rest of the way. He had a fuel mileage race, and it really worked out in his favor. Uh, but I guess I shouldn't spoil too much in case anyone hasn't watched it yet. And I know there's a lot of crossover. If anybody watches my channel, they've probably heard of Gavin and Nick's channel. You people that do watch my channel, so let me not spoil it any more than that. Just know it was a great race. You should watch it. For now, I guess I should focus on hitting my marks and not overdriving. I have a real problem overdriving at uh, Phoenix. 
works. I did that to be open, and I think I was... Aside from having a weird setup from a stranger... <laughs> oh. I think, I, I think I'm pretty bad about overdriving here as well, so... I better keep an eye on that. And, uh, just try to stay smooth here for a while. We could end up with some cautions because of the guys in the back that are less experienced, or never mind. Yes, uh, yes, we are going to get. That's a little much to save. It's closed. Race cars out. Cool. Line up single file behind car four. Five point four. Keep rides open. I am going to take it's tires, open. however. I think I'm going to go ahead and go in. So I can see this going green the rest of the way. Ah. Yeah. Do it. I can see this going green the rest of the way. I certainly don't think we're going to use all those tires, so we're going to go ahead and come in. Is this muted? No, we're good. Why not? 5.4 gallons. If anything, it'll promote me being more patient too as I wait behind guys and just be smart. 3, 2, 1, right here. Like the new countdown. Quite the fact I had it with Crew Chief. It's nice having it built in. 9898. So, it's not going to make too much of a difference, but it'll be an extra edge. We're done. Get going. It'll be an extra edge if uh, we do end up going to the end. And since I'm at the back, pretty much, I might as well come in and get extra fuel, I guess. Leather 20. Carbide. Maybe. We're still ahead of a nice. Well. Leather 20. Carbide. Oh, is this guy swerving all over the place? <laughs> Under facing. 3.2 gallons. I'll save some fuel just in case I am able to make it. I doubt I will, but you never know. One left to green. Okay, Colton. You're on the outside this time. Resume Get at the end of this line. Get ready, going green. He goes early again. The pace car is off, be ready. Be reasonable start time. Really going much though. Outside lane here. Just gotta be patient. I know there's a lots of different skill levels in here. Car outside. Still there. Keep low. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear high. 
side. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. Still there, inside. Still there at the bottom. You're up top, three wide. You're in the top ten. Hold your line. Inside, two wide. Still there. Clear inside. A little I didn't realize he was going to be running that second lane. Holy smokes, he's diving in. I had to leave the bottom open just in case that's where he was going. P9, the lap time was at 27.7. Really loose. Check up hard for him. Clear up top. Car outside. Got to be real careful around these guys. Clear up top. This won't pay off unless uh, I keep this thing clean. Really would like to get around this 18 though. He's a bit all over the place. Car outside. So if other guys pit now, we will be ahead of them. Pit road is out. Pits are closed. So we are not pitting. Well, maybe fuel. Speed. Fill up with fuel. We'll need to stop again. Make sure we can make it. Pit box team. Ten. Five. Three. Two. One. Right here. Ninety-eight, 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 ninety-eight. Again, filled up with fuel. Line up, single file. Get to twenty-three gallons. One point four gallons. One point four. I think we can save that much, especially if we're going to get more cautions or whatever. I mean, if we get more cautions, we're coming in for tires probably anyway. But Hey, Some guys didn't pit on the first pass by, I guess. Alright. So we'll get some track position back. Didn't end up going to the end. I guess there's going to be more cautions. I'm not sure what's happening. I don't think I've seen anything yet. So I don't know where the cautions are coming from, but... Not too concerned with where we are right now. Certainly didn't use the tires too much. We're at 98, 98 again. That's uh, not much at all. One point two gallons. Hmm. Long way to make it on fuel, but I think we can do it. One point two gallons. Pits are open. Seem to be running pretty good. One to go. Next time by, you'll be Jeremy, lining up on the inside. The of this lap. Keep digging. Racing says we got 92 laps. Crew chief is saying one gallon. About a gallon short. Let's see what the truth is. For too long. 
Get ready, going green. Are you ready for the early jump, though, in case it happens? Be ready. It's like we're slowing up again instead of keeping pace speed. It's probably just normal checking up, though. It's going with 18 sleeping. Oh my god, where is this guy going? Check up so much harder than I expected. I really don't want to be around that 18 anymore. He's really concerning me. Clear high, outside. Still there, you're in the sphere. Still there, hold your line. Clear outside. Okay. Get some space, hopefully. Really? Start uh, focusing more on lifting off, getting off the gas a little longer. Rotation, mm -hmm. fine. Here and get position on it. Still there. Still there. Fight for it though, and fight hard too. Right close to us. Still there. Clear outside if you want it. Clear. Car outside. Outside, clear. Get there as well. Keep hustling. Be smart about this fuel if we plan on making it to the end. This dog leg a little bit. Shortest way around the track, even. Might help out. I could be clutching through here since I'm off the throttle so long, anyway. Very good time to do it. Not having engine braking there made me overdrive it. Gotta remember how that works. The gap behind is now 0.7. Zero point eight gallons. Zero point eight. All right, it's getting better. Three. Get all my fuel now if I can. Zero point nine gallons. 
so we don't have to worry about it for the rest of the race. If it goes green. That's annoying. Check my crew chief, just getting updates. One truck is coming up on us. We know he's probably got speed. He just got a little bit of damage earlier, so might uh, affect how fast he's going to be. Wonder if he can make it to the end or not, or if he's planning to. there. It's going extra slow through the corner, so I've got extra loose. Could be oversaving. Not sure. Could be undersaving. Not sure. <laughs> you going, Tony? Like I said, I just want to get the saving out of the way. That way I don't have to save later. Alright. So Trivet behind is now 0.6 gallons. I find it uh, surprising if the one can make it to the end, pushing like he is. I might have to pit again. I don't know where this guy's running. Into the wall, apparently. It's just kind of swerving over every lane. So that didn't help out anything. But I guess we're okay. One has reached the two. I think the two's probably saving as well. That was 0.6 gallons. 0.6 is what we're getting. That still feels great. Seconds. That lap time was 28.4. Gap to Trivet behind is now 1.2. We're just getting well out of the way. But, mm, a little loose on exit. That's something I should be able to control, though. That's on me.
god. You guys not knowing how to drive this track, I guess. I'm trying to be smooth and I have to redirect my course to the corner. Point three, we're real close to making it. And uh, of course I got my crew chief. Um, I checked to see exactly where I had him. Uh, he gives me Come on. an extra lap. Is what I have it set to give me. So he'll tell me I'm, I'm a lap short. It means that I'm right on the money, basically. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Thank you, Jason. See if it goes green to the end or not. Time to gain too once I start actually going instead of lifting off extra. Might run some normal laps here and see where the fuel takes me from there. Okay, we're halfway to the finish. Four and a half up to the leader. We're at the halfway point. Should be about 45 laps of fuel remaining. The gap in front is now 1.8 seconds. See where uh, it's faster. Whenever we uh, run it full speed. Okay, just going now. Point two is pretty comfortable. Point two short, it says, but be okay, I think. Thank you. Deuce, but I like it. Right there. Come on. These guys not to wreck. <laughs> Be nice to see how this turns Thank out. You, I wasn't expecting that. Hold on, let me turn it up so I can hear. What? What'd you say? Yeah, I just thanked you and said that I don't really expect it because a lot of guys just don't let people fast, even though they are a lot faster. Oh, probably that, yeah, no, I feel you, man. I feel you on that. I actually know what the hell I'm doing. Or at least try to. 
Go get him, Chief. Good luck. Sting radio communications. Zero point two gallons. Oh, at zero point two. Oh, wow, that got really sideways. Holy cow. Interesting. We gotta run a little higher in that corner. That lost me a lot of time. That big slide. You've just done a 28.9. Really having trouble plowing in that corner though on the other set, so I would much rather it be like this. It seemed like I'm losing time in front, but uh, that's my own fault. So I'm making some mistakes and. There's also the fact that uh, we saved a bunch of fuel for a while. I'm liking running a little higher on the track though, that's kind of working. Zero point four gallons. <laughs> oh no! The wall. Roof ball. Okay. That guy's pitting. He can't make it to the end. That guy's wrecking. Please don't. Stop it. Hey, you. You stop that. Zero point six gallons. So they are not feeling like they can make it. I'm gonna start saving again. A little bit more since the Since it's saying we're not gonna make it anymore. The gap in front has increased. It's now about five point six seconds. Behind is now 4.2 seconds. Car out by, I guess. Clear. So long. I don't think the one can make it to the end. Not sure about the four, but uh, they had pretty good pace. If they can make it to the end, they've uh, done something pretty special to be able to keep that pace and to be able to save. Oh, another guy pit. Okay. Fuel mileage race. Come on, let's go. Leader's pitting now. Leader's pitting now. They cannot make it. Zero point four gallons. We just entered extreme fuel save mode, boys. So I'm sure gonna try. <laughs> okay, you are the leader. Now I've got to use three pedals. It's almost like hey, I actually hey, have a clutch. Hey, 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 Shit hurt. Don't, don't, don't wreck, please. I think I win this if you don't wreck. Thank you, sir. You're a very good driver. I feel like we're not even losing all that much time when we're saving fuel either. Zero point two gallons. Two point two. I definitely think we can make it. Get this guy not to hit me from behind. Let's self spin. Whoa! Clear inside. It's my fault. It's my fault the caution came out. 
Line up, single file. Pit road is closed right now, past us, four, car. Catch them, five, car. Don, you just got screwed. We were gonna have a good day, so I hate that. Are you serious, dude? You just come back on the track like that and miss me by three inches? Man, people are dope. Uh oh. We're under caution. Pits are closed. Pace car is out. Line up single. I'm sorry for starting all that by getting loose. I think the truck getting up behind me got me all messed up. Well, he overdrove that corner uh, by about ten truck lengths. He just, he came out on fresh tires and it was going to be better than the Watch one on the three limit, car. Pits. Look out for the pit speed limit. Okay, Colton. I'm, I'm a good driver. The race. I'm going to throw it down Limited in the corner and rest the whole in. field. <laughs> okay, well, they're not blaming me. That's good. Zero gallons. We'll just take a tiny bit of fuel to make sure we yeah, get anything out. Yeah, it's many. They're in pretty hot in turn three. Pit box team, 10. I can tell. I mean, it's a lap down and off the pace the whole race. Five. Right. Might as well pick it up right Three, there. Two, one, right here. I was gonna make it on fuel too. I was actually good on fuel, but we'll go ahead and get this optional I repair. I guess. The of the run in turn and lose twenty seconds. Okay, punch I guess it it's out. from hitting the wall. Be mindful, you only have one set of cars remaining. Line up, single file. Get stuff, 11, stop. See how this cycles out. I might be uh, still first. This guy's being lapped down. Get stuff, 9, stop. Looks like I might be. Full course yellow, pits are open. Well, got plenty of every time I always pit, I get a caution and lose the lead. Me? The number one, I guess, got caught up in it, maybe. Hey, so I gotta go to the tail. Man, this really screwed the field up. <laughs> I mean, I didn't make the guy crash, but I kind of started the fire. You know, I was the spark by getting loose. He just, he came up on me, and I think him coming up on me that quickly at the corner really got me loose. And, uh, I saved it, but he, uh, he did not save it. That's the longest I went on tires. Boy, what a devil. It's open. We will be in the lead still. Got new tires on it. So really we're in a good spot. One lap go, 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 that's why he's telling him to go. I'm gonna restart in the normal zone. Try to keep pace. Going green. About 55. The pace car is in. Check it, check it. Green, green flag. flag, green flag. All right, good jump. Get a pretty good jump here, that's for sure. The tire is feeling pretty good. Be crashing back there. Okay, 
area good though. So here's the part where I probably overdrive it. <laughs> I'll try not to though. Man, this setup's good, though. <laughs> Who's down there? I gotta be better hit my marks. I'm very inconsistent at Phoenix. If I do, we might be okay. The captain, Trivet, behind is now 2nd second behind us. Previous leader, I believe, is in fourth. That's the guy that was in the lead. Got plenty of fuel. My fuel, obviously, they're getting a little bit more there. All right, Colton, Caution laps helping. Keep it up. Uh, I'd like for them not to wreck. Again. But, uh, I, got, I pretty much ignited the last one. I wouldn't quite say I caused it, because I wasn't the guy that wrecked. But I kind of ignited the fire. <laughs> I'll concede to that. <laughs> Although if you look at it the way, like, the guy overdriving entry and then getting me loose because of arrow, in a way, he was kind of like the kindling. Me getting loose was the ignition, and then the crash was the fire. <laughs> That's how we can look at that, uh, that situation. The gap to Trivet to behind is now 1.6 seconds. Good. I don't feel like I'm overdriving too bad. Setup feels great. Plus, we have a little bit of a. I mean, we got got the fresh tires when we came in, so that's uh, a okay on that front. I don't think, and I think a lot of guys don't have the fresh tires. Just so have to take the wave around. A lot of the fast guys that pit. So this goes green. We are very fortunate. Going ahead and uh, cutting the dog leg each lap. I figure why not? Instead of leaving that on the table. Car feels stable enough to do that, not have to worry too much, so. It's fine to me. Gap 
back to Trivet behind is now 2.8. That was a 27.7. Good consistency. Keep them coming. Still gaining behind us, it looks like. Just look that way. 2.9. Amazing what can happen whenever you don't accept setups from strangers. Your temperatures are now back to normal. <laughs> but instead, trusted individuals. The lap time was at 27.9. Outside. Clear high. I couldn't take my uh, favorite angle, or my preferred angle, to that corner. The lap car, but not too bad. Ten to go, they gone by. Yeah, it looks like we lost about a tenth or so. That's that because of the uh, lap truck, but that's not too bad. If anything, this this thing's working even better in the long run. Like, goodness gracious. Still rot rotating great, and I've been driving pretty hard. Not really hard. I like maybe ninety percent, but it's great. The laps are going by quick too. We're already um, within ten to go. Really need this thing to go green. Round of five to go here soon. I'm still pulling them behind us. They're a full five seconds back. I think they might have had some issues. I hope they're not crashing. You gotta feel right. It's fine, you got loads. Yeah, okay, just checking, just checking. I'd like to get to the white as soon as possible. Look at the look at the last lap. The truck's getting faster. It's unbelievable. Anyone should be charging for setups. It's Daniel. <laughs> Though I disagree with the whole pay to win philosophy. Like if I am gonna pay for a setup, this is what I would hope to get out of it. Maconi set was okay. Not like nine bucks. Okay. Lucky I've lived in these turns. I 
guys are saying they're lucky they're lifting. Let's get to the white, please. You've got to do that to stay focused. We can win this. So it was looking like we were going to win on fuel mileage. Then that ended. Thankfully, because of the way it ended. White flag, nice and smooth. We got ourselves in a very fortunate position. We snagged the white flag, and that's going to do it. I trust myself enough not to loop it on the final lap. There's no way we're losing six seconds. No chance. How about that? Thanks, man. Good race. All right. That was absolutely perfect. You won. Great you enjoyed with these people today. Got pretty fortunate with how the caution fell there, and it was almost kind of my fault. Good one, Colton. Watch your speed. Good one. Mm -mm -mm. Not gonna celebrate. <laughs> that might be in bad taste, but I'm celebrating on the inside. That's for sure, because we got the win by seven seconds. Man, that's pretty awesome. I mean, it's a low strength of field, kinda, but uh. Hey, that's a good little battle five. Good clean race, and I like it. Yikes, yeah, sixteen. All right. I'm absolutely going to send a message thanking Daniel again for sharing that setup. 8891 after all those laps. That's pretty that's pretty good. All right. So, let's see what happened out here. I go through it pretty quick. I don't think uh, there's going to be too much to see. It's just a couple things, but here's the guy that ended up with 16x. Don't think that's one of them right there though. I'm not even sure why we're seeing that, just hitting the uh, dog wig. Colton, you just barely had me to keep me a lap down and only get the lucky dog thing. I think, uh, I think if I would have had you, we might would have been able to raise. Yeah, I definitely got very fortunate with uh, where I was on the track and everything uh, during that caution. I had enough fuel to make it to the end, actually. Um, so in, an, in another way, maybe uh, I wasn't so fortunate, but uh, it worked out. Uh, it would have been more fun to race you at the end, though, for sure. <laughs> yeah, and then I thought I was going to be third on the restart, and it was like, okay, we'll be all right. And then it made me drop to, I think, seventh, and we had to let some lap chucks get by. And then when it restarted, I was just mired back and couldn't get all the way back up there. And then once I got up to second with like three to go, my tires were killed from just in it. But hmm. either way, good win. Yeah, that dirty air, like you mentioned, it was a it was a good race though. Um, appreciate it, and I uh, hope you have a good one, man. Yeah, if I try to win the next one, I think I've done about three or four this week that I've had a, uh, that I've just lost in my crazy ways. You'll get there. Yeah, you clearly got some good speed. Alright, see ya. <laughs> Have a good one. That was very nice. Alright, so there's a the guy behind me. Is this where he's getting some of his X's? Yes, it looks like maybe that was some. He kind of just turns up and into the 12. Kind of just doesn't stick it on the bottom there. Although, I mean, the 12's kind of all over the place. I don't know. I don't know if he expected to be on his inside. Not sure what the 12 was up to. <laughs> yeah, this guy was clearly uh, up there fighting. That guy's paint never loaded. Maybe that's just the paint he has. He's got the pure white. Weird. I can't be right. 
Still not sure why we're seeing a lot of this stuff. Oof. Not why we're seeing that one. Oh, wow. How'd you even do that? Oh, man. That was a heavy hit, too. So we got loose and then overcorrected really bad. And then right into that inside wall real hard. That's a heavy hit for Phoenix. Oh, no. And then a year later, the 12 comes in. Look how far back he is. Hit the brakes, my man. Look up there. Guy spinning. Get your timers out. What? <laughs> he aimed for him. What was that? What? I don't know what. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, maybe he just felt like ending it. I have no idea. That was a weird one. Oh, what happened there? Looks like guys come together after the uh, dog leg. Oh my gosh, where's the 11 going? So I think I see what his plan was. It looks like the guy had slow, and so he's like pulling to the inside. But this guy's coming up. You know, because he knows he's too wide, but that's all he knows. He doesn't know this guy's going to try and make a pass. And that's just not a place he can try to make a pass knowing how the dog leg works. That's unfortunate set of circumstances, I think, though. That's rough for both of them. Still some seeing some stuff, I don't know why. Guy's okay, getting in the wall. What am I doing? Nothing. Just hitting the uh, dog leg kind of hard. Assume the same right there. I hear a truck coming up hot. <laughs> Looks like they didn't hit though. That guy hit the wall. Mm, bounce off the wall, hit the guy? Nope, just bounce off the wall a little bit. Wasn't even a bounce, kind of just a scrape. The wall! Live on Twitch. Marines into the wall. That's real tight on exit. They need themselves a Daniel setup. Thing never got tight out of that corner. I don't think it got tight once. Bounce off the wall. Ooh, what are we doing? This, eight, uh, this uh, number five has been in the wrong place at the wrong time. More than once this race. The guy overcorrects and almost spins it up into the guy. Probably would have been okay keeping it straight, but you don't know that. For sure. So eight can hit the wall again. Man, maybe his 16x just came from getting two X's off the wall over and over. That might be the truth. Oh. Really gets unsettled there, though. He's still running 10th, too. I guess this is the guy that... Uh... Earth was that. Hat. Is the 8 trucks broken, or just that tight, or... What was that? He just puts him into the wall. That was weird. That certainly didn't help the number two's chances. Oh, there's weird clues. Yeah, okay. Hmm. So he comes up on me. I thought he was still closer up on me. I don't even think it was. I can't blame him for it. I think I just got loose. Nah, mm. I guess the looseness starts right there after he like kind of does this air swipe attack. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's definitely on me. I got to be able to control my vehicle. But uh, I was gonna save it. He just chooses instead of letting off to turn to the inside and uh, turns into the one. 
They didn't seem to be blaming me. I apologize, though, and I think I deserved to. He about nearly took me out on entry, though. Like, look how far back he is. This flies in there. Had to speed it up to avoid him a little bit. And then he just takes out the one. It was a contender. So that stinks. Bit of a war of attrition helped us out here too. Just guys that were competitive getting taken out. And his engine blows. So that was the it. And that was it for him. <laughs> Did he suicide onto the barrels too? Yeah, he's fed up. Just sticks it in there. Oh, and then his engine blows as well. This guy's a... This guy's tricks a cluster. A lot going on in there. Looks like a comic strip or something. Very busy steam. This guy was running second for behind us for a while. But we pulled away over time. This guy ended up finishing. Six. That's pretty good. That's 18. He was taking some uh, interesting entries and interesting lines to the corner, but he made it to the end and uh, got a solid finish, so he did what he needed to do. Speed through some of these wall hits. Oh, guess we didn't even need to, because that's it. Alright, so we got the win. Thank you to, hold on a second, I'm going to get his name right this time. Thank you to Daniel Shell, there is no N, Daniel Shell, <laughs> for uh, providing a setup to the community through Gavin's Discord. It's fantastic. It's very good. It's just my style, and it got us the win here today, along with some a uh, little bit of strategy. Uh, we were going to make it to the end. We were going to win on fuel mileage, I believe. But then uh, after the caution, you know, it's fast. It was a good setup. And it got us there. So that's that's pretty awesome. Uh, very fun race. Yeah, it's fun whenever uh, <laughs> you got some speed. And uh, got lots of green flag racing here. Just a couple cautions. So I uh, hope you enjoyed. It was a fun one. Didn't have my fastest lap to lap 68. And uh, that'll be it. All right. See you next time.